Hello everyone, today I am bringing you a review of the Apexel 3-in-1 Clip-On Lens. Let's see what you get inside the box. The first thing you're greeted with is a nice hard shell case. Yes, it does have a zipper to keep it nice and closed up. When you open it up, you'll see the lenses and the clip. A little wire mesh or a little mesh pouch here which does have a cleaning cloth to keep your lens clean not just these lenses but your lens on your phone and it does have the apexel logo right there you actually get two clips You get the big fisheye lens with a lens cap. You get the wide angle lens with a lens cap. And the macro lens is in here along with the wide angle lens. And all you got to do to access it is simply twist it off. When you twist it back on, just do it snug. You really don't have to torque down on it really hard. Just a nice little uh, snug fit is all you really need on that. Now the lens housings are made of a high grade aluminum. And the wide angle lens is a 0.67 wide angle point of view. The macro lens is a 10 times macro lens. And the fisheye lens will give you a 180 degree view. Now inside the fisheye lens you have three element and three groups and a magnification of 0.33 times in here. Now with the wide angle lens you have two elements, two group and a 130 degree wide angle uh, field of view with that. The macro lens only has one element and one group with a shot distance of 10 to 23 millimeters or 0.39 inches to 0.90 inches. So basically probably about a quarter of an inch to let's just say an inch. And a lot of that does depend upon your phone and the camera sensor inside the phone and how well your phone can focus. Now. This lens is a little tight when you put it in. The macro and wide angle lens, when you put it into the clip, it's a little tight. So please be careful when you're installing that. The fisheye lens isn't as tight. It goes in really nice and easy. So just, like I said, just be a little careful when you're taking this, installing it and taking it off. Now the distance here for your uh that this clip will work on is an inch long. What I mean by that is from the top of your phone to where your lens is on the back, you have an inch amount, about one inch here of clearance for it to fit. Basically what I mean by that is the top of your phone to where your camera is, about an inch, that's all you get. So if your camera lens is a little bit further down from the top and from the sides because sometimes you can actually fit the clip on the side of the phone if there's more than an inch from where your camera lens is to either the side or the top of the phone this will not work for you but if it is within that one inch spacing perfectly fine now let me take you outside do some testing and you can see the apexel three-in-one clip-on lens in action. Stay tuned. Alrighty, here is the test of the wide-angle lens. And of course I am focusing on right in the center there. And that's what it looks like. Now let me remove the wide-angle lens so you can see the difference between the wide-angle lens and just the regular lens that comes on my Lumia 640 phone. Ready? Here we go. And that is the view without the wide angle lens.
Okay, I'm going to show you the macro lens now. Let me move in on the wall here. There you go, and I am about an inch away from the wall. Just to show you how good the macro lens is. Alright, I'm just giving you another example of the macro lens. I'm just trying to get close as I can to this leaf. I am about uh, three quarters of an inch away from the leaf. Let's get a little closer. And as I get a little closer, you can tell that there is starting to get blurry. So I'd say anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch, and you're pretty good. Let's look at the. Here's some tree bark. And that's about a good half inch away from the tree bark. Alrighty, last view with the macro lens. On this little flower or weed, whatever it may be. Once again, I'm about three quarters of an inch away. And let me remove the lens so I can show you what this thing looks like in real life. That's the flower I was looking at. I hope this was helpful for the macro lens test. Alrighty, and here is the test for the fisheye lens from Apexel. As you can see, you can see my garage here all the way down to there. And I am focusing in right there in the center. And as always, focusing in that center whenever I do a lens test. Let me just do a little bit of a pan so you can see what it looks like when you pan it. See if there's any distortion. And yes, I know I still have to cut my lawn. Okay, now I'm going to remove the lens so you can see uh, the view without the fisheye lens. Ready? Here we go. And this is the view without the fisheye lens. I really do hope this test was helpful for you. Please leave some comments below.